guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to be doing a battle of the concealers or whatever you want to call it video featuring the Tarte Shape Tape which has been a lot of people's holy grail for I want to say over a year now and the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. The reason why I want to put these two head to head is that they have really similar claims. However, the sizes are quite different. The Tarte Shape Tape has 10 milliliters in its package and the Urban Decay All Nighter has 3.5 mils. So well over twice, almost three times as much product in the Shape Tape. So keep that in mind going forward. They're both really full coverage and have the same sort of matte finish. So I wanted to put them together to see which one is best, see which one you guys should spend your hard earned money on. I know this one last year was featured in my Best of Beauty. I really, really liked it when it first came out. And this one just launched on the 4th of December. So some of you may not have gotten your hands on it yet and that's okay. That's why I wanted to get this video up for you guys just in case you had your eye on it. Um, prices are about the same. I will have them listed as I show the concealers here. So clearly I'm already wearing both of them now so I won't give anything away. I will jump into a demo of me kind of applying the products and then of course after my day is done I will do a check-in and let you guys decide and see for yourself what you guys think about the two of them. Is one more smoothing? Is one more full coverage? Does one crease a lot more? I want to know just as much as you guys do. I've never worn them on my face at the same time, so I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen. So let's jump in to the demo. All right, you guys, so my skin is primed and I have a layer of foundation on. Kind of avoided my eye area a little bit. So I'm going to start doing concealers, one on each side. For the Tarte Shape Tape, my shade is Light Sand. And for the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealers, I'm going to have to mix to get the same shade as this. Light Warm and Fair Warm. It's kind of right in between. A little bit more towards Light Warm is pretty close, but the Light Warm is a little, little bit darker. So I'm going to mix a bit of the Fair in so I don't have the lopsided looking face. Okay, so let's do Shape Tape first. Now when I use Shape Tape, I don't do a ton. Same with the Urban Decay because it is so full coverage. So I'm just going to do that much on this side and I'm going to blend it out using a beauty blender. It's just my preferred method. And we'll see how it looks. This shade is going to be pretty, <laughs> pretty bright right now because I have some sunless tan on that's fresh. So that's a, a bit annoying, but... Hopefully once my makeup is fully done, I won't look like an old golden retriever. You know how they have like the white face? Anyway. All right, so that side is done. Now let's do the Urban Decay. So I'm going to start out with light warm and I'm going to do more of this than the uh, fair. I'm just going to do a couple little dots of the fair to kind of lighten it up a little bit so we match. I'm going to blend it in. What I like to do, just as an FYI, because I do have quite a few wrinkles under my eyes just because of the way my eyes are set, it's really inevitable for me, I like to blend in the majority of the concealer on like, on and under my orbital bone and then just take kind of what's left and bring that under my eye. It helps a little bit, but kind of no matter what, I'm going to get those fine lines that just is what it is for my face. Okay, so there we have it. That is done. I do notice that this one, already I can see that the Urban Decay has a bit more coverage to it and it blended away less. So just so both sides match, I'm going to add a little bit more of the Shape Tape just down here. That's where the Shape Tape had kind of blended away, just so we get an even look. So off the bat, Urban Decay has more coverage. Which, if that's what you're looking for, that's great. If you like a more kind of natural skin look and you don't have a lot to cover, uh, this might be a little too much for you, but I know a lot of y'all are full coverage 11 girls and boys. So, okay. I think that's a little bit better. 
I'm going to take Light Warm from Urban Decay just to highlight the other parts of my face to kind of make my under eye area not look so crazy. I'm just going to do a little bit on my nose there, a little tiny bit on my chin, and a bit on my forehead. Alright, so everything is blended in. Before I set my under eye area, which I will show you in case you want to see how I do it, I am going to give you guys a little bit of a close-up so you can see how things look. This is what my under eye area looks like so far. I will say that, okay, I will point out which is which just in case you guys forgot. So this side right here is the Urban Decay and this side is the Tarte Shape Tape. You can see I have a little bit more creasing here off the bat granted it's not set so you know take that for what it is but I believe that the shape tape side looks a little bit less smooth than the Urban Decay side I'm getting a little bit more smoothing action on my pores uh, not perfectly smooth of course but you know it is what it is so so far I'm liking the Urban Decay one a little bit more I think it it's a little bit nicer on my skin. So let's set everything and see what we think. Okay, so I'm over here looking like a ghost because nothing else is done, but everything is set and I will show you guys again a close up, kind of compare the two and then of course I'll check back in in a little while and see how everything is holding up. All right, so this is what we have so far. I'm trying to get my lighting even and I don't know if I've accomplished that, but Hopefully it looks pretty good to you guys. So this side here is the shape tape and this is Urban Decay. From what I can see as I'm looking at it in a mirror and I hope it's picking up, the shape tape side, the lines look a bit deeper and also you can see more of the lines that are really fine. So you can see a lot more texture there. It did of course cover everything. So any discoloration there is covered which is great, but the Urban Decay also did that while kind of smoothing everything out a little bit, or at least as smooth as I could possibly get my under eye area. So I'm liking that better for now, especially. The textures are quite different when we're applying it, and the Urban Decay one is a bit more dry, and also it dried down a little bit more matte, I feel like, even though the Shape Tape is still a matte finish concealer. So this one is kind of a really dry, almost powdery finish for the Urban Decay even before setting. So those are the differences there. That's probably one of the reasons why it's more smoothing. So I like both concealers, but so far in my mind, the Urban Decay is winning, at least right off the bat. I want to know what you guys think, so leave me a comment down below. All right, you guys, so we have been wearing the concealer for about five to six hours, almost six hours. And I will say that still, I like the Urban Decay side better. The Both of the concealers actually kind of impressed me throughout the day. I expected them to break down more a little bit. Um, and I have experience with both of them, and I feel like there have been moments when especially the shape tape has really settled and gotten gross looking. But I think a lot of that has to do with other factors you know um, the primer and stuff that I wear underneath and maybe I had too much foundation underneath or maybe I used too much concealer so it surprises me how good both under eyes still really look as compared to when I first did them not much has changed but overall I will say that I still much prefer the Urban Decay side I love how it's a little bit drier and a little bit I would say more of a moussey texture rather than like a liquid to cream it blends out really, really nice, almost leaves a little bit of a powdery finish, which is really nice. It kind of hides some of the, is it texture? I would say, you know, I have this line coming out from my inner tear duct that comes down here, and when I do wear matte products under the eyes, it really kind of helps to blur that out when I'm filming. <laughs> Just something I nitpick about myself, which is weird, but whatever. So the finish is nice powdery matte. This is matte as well, but this is just a little bit smoother looking uh, and it doesn't settle as much into my really fine lines. It kind of helps blur them a tiny bit, which is really, really nice. Especially considering how much coverage there is, a lot of times you sacrifice, uh, you know, texture looking a little bit gross when you have such a full coverage product which let's be honest if I was going to use a really nice kind of light liquidy concealer that had didn't have a ton of coverage my under eye area would look more hydrated 
you wouldn't see all of the fine lines but it doesn't photograph nicely for me and when I'm filming it doesn't look as nice it doesn't look as kind of airbrushed I guess so that's just kind of a trade-off so I say if you had to choose between the two I would go with Urban Decay I'm a fan I'll give you guys another close-up okay so again this side is the Urban Decay concealer and this side is the Shape Tape. You can see, hopefully, <laughs> a little bit more of the fine lines creeping out down here. And the bigger creases under my eyes are just a little bit more pronounced on this side. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please give it a thumbs up if you guys found it helpful or liked it. Leave me a comment or any questions you may have down below in the description box and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys aren't a subscriber already. I would love to have you guys and I will have more videos for you soon. Thanks so much for hanging out and I will see you next time. Bye guys.